Over the course today, we have heard many stories of men and women who are willing to give the ultimate sacrifice for their country. I personally have the honor to share the story of Private George Teixeira. George was born on January 8, 1922, in Lahaini, Maui, the paradise once known as Lily, meaning Relentless Sun. At one point, Lahaina was the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii and a major economic hub including whaling, ranching, pineapple, and sugar industries. George attended Waihi Elementary School and finished his schooling at Baldwin High School and worked for Ayuku Sugar Company on Maui. During the Great Depression, he joined the Civilian Conservation Corps and worked to improve America's public lands, forests, and parks. He later left his home island and traveled to Honolulu, Oahu, where he participated in building defenses. Teixeira enlisted into the United States Army on July 26, 1943, at the age of 21. He was assigned to the 27th Infantry Division of the 105th Infantry Regiment. The 27th Infantry Division was the first stateside division to deploy in response to the attack on Pearl Harbor, in addition to defending outer islands from amphibious attack. Private Teixeira deployed with the 27th Infantry Division for the raid on Mackin Island, November, 3, November 20th to 23, 1943. The objective of the raid on Mackin Island was to destroy Japanese installations, gather intelligence, and to incorporate new U.S. military tactics. Following the raid on Mackin Island, he deployed for a second time for Operation Forager, the Battle of Saipan. For the operation to have commenced and be successful, it required much preparation, ultimately taking a large toll on the training time that was available for the division. The division was only together to train on Oahu for about two months before Operation Forger commenced. Private Teixeira was killed in action on Saipan on July 7, 1944. The 27th Infantry Division faced the largest bonsai attack of, during World War II. About 4,000 Japanese troops died, and about one, around 1,000 American troops died or were injured. It was one of the many strategies that the Imperial Japanese military used. The soldiers would yell bonsai to overwhelm the enemy position with massive human weight attacks. Private Teixeira was laid to rest in the 27th Infantry Division Cemetery, Marina Islands, and then returned to Hawaii to be buried at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific on August 5, 1949, per his family's wishes. When he was found dead, he had been carrying a cigarette case, a pen, a map carrying case, and a charm. He did not leave behind a will. He left behind his father, John Texera, mother, May Texera, and his siblings, Irene, Gladys, Stanley, Henrietta, Gordon, and Wyona Texera, as well as his grandparents, Mr. and Mrs. Anton R. Texera. Private George Texera was one of the many brave men and women of World War II who would answer the call, the call to defend their country and citizens who they had never met. He displayed selfless bravery and heroism by giving the ultimate sacrifice his life, and through this, he defended and protected the freedoms and ideals that we, unlike many countries, are able to enjoy today.